Today I want to talk about congenital cytomegalovirus and okay so here's the deal we all know about Zika and I do have a previous video about that and I in the video I talk about how to protect yourself against Zika but the thing with Zika that is scaring a lot of people is microcephaly but no one is talking about congenital cytomegalovirus We'll just call it CMV from here on out. No one is talking about it, but it also causes microcephaly and it is creating more children with microcephaly than Zika virus. So this makes CMV the most common infection passed from a mother to her baby. So while the consequences can be devastating, there is an important role to be played by midwives and doctors in ensuring pregnant women um, are supported to know about this virus. And most importantly, how simple hygiene can reduce the risk of infection. The main way that pregnant women catch CMV is from urine or saliva from young children of young children. Younger children pose a greater transmission risk than older children because there are higher levels of the virus found in their body body fluids and they are more likely to spread around through drooling, um, teething on toys, and so forth. It can remain present in the child's uh, body fluids for many months, even years after they have recovered from the initial infection. So this virus can lay dormant for a very long time within a child. So CMV can also be spread through sexual contact, uh, medical tre treatments such as blood and organ transplant. However, the saliva is um, the most important one. This is how people get it the most. This is because CMV is present in higher levels in saliva. CMV inf infection during pregnancy is most often suspected and diagnosed when an ultrasound scan uh, shows suspicious features. And these features include the baby being small, um, low amniotic fluid, uh, kidneys, and in some cases, brain abnormalities, um, and even small head, which is microcephaly, and that's the main thing that people notice off top out of, you know, their kids. So, but with CMV, there is no treatment. Um, there is no vaccine available. In case, you know, you hear some of these signs, you can maybe you know, put a little bug in your doctor ear to, well, can we check for CMV? So these signs include jaundice, low birth weight, small head, smaller purple spots on the body, enlarged liver or spleen. So basically, I just want to say this, CMV is, it's, it's not really talked about and a lot of people don't even know about it. So I'm here to say CMV is here. It's real. A lot of people are already dealing with microcephaly and it's not because of the Zika virus. It's because of something, a whole totally different virus and just something as simple as hygiene can cut down your chances by 85% of not, you know, getting your unborn baby um, infected. So I think if we get the word out, it can protect a lot of more people people because you know a thousand children every year that that's that's nothing to um, play with and no one wants to risk their baby coming out with CMV or you know you just don't want to deal with you know any of that those situations everybody wants healthy kids uh, 10 fingers and 10 toes that's that's what we're looking for and I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you want to know about the Zika virus um, and how to protect yourself against, uh, against it, I'll have that linked in the description box below. Um, I also will have the paper linked in the description box. 
And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, peace, love, and happy thoughts. Bye.